All right, it's that time. Let's talk about batteries. You guys recognize these. These are the Honda Clarity 12S batteries. These are 44 volts, right? So not quite 48 and not quite 36. They're just in between there. Um, so we're trying to find out what are good uses for these. And uh, someone suggested in one of the last videos that I should just get a uh, Victron Energy inverter because these inverters you can set the voltage range all the way from like 58 all the way down to like 36 which just happens to land exactly in the range of these uh 12s batteries right so let me show you how this one so i basically what i did i just ordered one of the little ones but these phoenix ones and i think there's like another one line of them they all operate basically the same way and they have the same operating voltages and you can set them up uh, and program them by uh, using this little Bluetooth thing. So let me show you how do you do that on your phone, on a mobile device, and then you can set the, the voltage. I think you, you don't need to set the upper voltage. You just set the lower voltage when you want this thing to start because that's been the problem that these... Um, still have a lot of energy in them and the 48 volt inverters usually start with the alarms and they start quitting really early on and so you leave a lot of battery unused but with this one you can set the lower voltage cutoff all right so here is the app you click on that and then it opens it up and you can see the uh voltage right now uh, the battery is 49 and a half volts which is like you know almost 50 volts is like 4. Um, 4.2 4.1 i think on the cells right so that's the very top and so then what you do here this little meter shows you how much of the capacity of the little inverter you can use right but they make these inverters big too so so you go in here and it's got two modes it's got eco flow i mean eco and then just on and then voltage 120 you can set up the hertz in case you wanted to operate at 50 hertz for other parts of the world and then uh dynamic cutoff it seems you, i guess that might be useful for something but low battery shutdown 37.2 and if you divide 37.2 oh yeah and by the way that's about the lowest that you can do so you can do 36 but this is when it's going to shut down right 37 uh low battery restart alarm i don't know what that is i think that's when like it's gonna restart after a low battery thing it's like at 40. i set it at 40 and then charge detect 50. so i think that's probably when it's gonna tell you that it's fully charged although i don't know why we need to do that but let's say that it's 49. we're gonna lower so this is the the device that i'm powering right it's just a low energy device but we're gonna go down Ooh, okay so but what happened it still kept working because it's powering the device 37 okay and then it shut off there somewhere around there like now when will it turn back on we're bumping it up bumping it up to 38 39 I'm raising the voltage it's still not coming on 40 is that when it's designed to come off 41 42 43 44 45, 46, 47, 48, boom, 49. Oh, I guess that's that setting. When do you want it to come back on, right? So I put 49, let's see, is that what it is? Yeah, 49.3 charge detect. So let's say if we lower that number, will it, recover like if you have like 20 percent of battery i guess that's this is what you can do this with this setting 
Okay, so now I've set that number to 45. Let's see if that is indeed what it does. So we lower the voltage. Right now it's inverting around 39. That's it, it gave us low battery warning. 37 is still inverting. Boom, and then right there, around 36.7. Okay, so now let's raise it up. Now our, our voltage, let's say our battery's charging, and it's reached the magic number of 45, it's coming. No, it didn't. For some reason, it didn't. So now it's gonna start going up. Oh, there we go, 47. Now it kicked back on. Yeah, so I don't know what that setting is for, or maybe, yeah. But I guess you'd have to charge your battery. Although, also, uh, let's say that you are at 45, uh, 40 volts, let's say. Right? And then you turn it off. So maybe in order to get to make this thing, this inverter, to get it started again, even though it's not after a fault, right? After a low voltage event. Yeah, there you go. So it, you just turn it on and, you know, it's inverting that. How about even at 38? Let's say that it just came back off a uh, thing and then you charge it all the way up to a couple of volts. Will it turn on? And will it start inverting when you're at 38 volts? No. No. 39? Let's see. Okay. No. Not at 39 either. Okay, around 40. So it's got to be above the, the low battery voltage uh, warning, right? So there we go. It's a 40. Except the, the inverter sees that as 39.9, so let's uh, raise it up a little bit more. Boom, there we go, inverting. So I guess somewhere around 40. Around 40 volts, then that's when your uh, inverter will start working again. Divide that by 12. So 3.3, .3, your cells have to be around 3.3. .3. Yeah, that's... So this, this inverter doesn't have that many features, but it's got enough features to make it usable with the uh, Honda Clarity. Of course, like I said, there's much bigger ones of these ones, right? I think they go up all the way to four kilowatt. And so you will be able to just parallel a bunch of these, put them in a cart or something, connect them in here, put a charger in there, even a solar charger that will charge this up to 50. And then now you have your uh, inverter in there that will work and it'll use a hundred percent of that battery and these are I guess they're not expensive but they're not too cheap these are I guess these are like good quality inverters I don't know some people swear by them and stuff I have zero experience with them but you know I, uh, people there's people that love these for some reasons right so and I maybe I know why it's because they give you some settings where other little inverters this is a little one 250 watts and you know, it's, it gives you some settings and some um, features that some other ones don't. So there we go. If you need an inverter to run the uh, very affordable, by the way, these are, we lowered the price on these. Now they're like $99 in our website. So that's less than, less than $100 kilowatt hour. Uh, what is that? Like $80 or $85 a kilowatt hour something like that. Go check them out at jack35.com. All right, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, just capacity tested this module here, this... Uh Honda Clarity module, 12S. And the way I did it was I used my EcoFlow Mini 
and I used it to charge it, right? And then uh, I set this meter to 25 amp hours to start counting down. And now it's at 35 volts and we have 235 milliamp hours left from the total 25 amp hours, which means that this has about 25 amp hours of capacity or 1.12 kilowatt hours worth of battery in here. All right, question is, can you use a um, Clarity, Honda Clarity battery to operate a forklift? This battery is giving out already as a lead acid and we're just using this battery here. <laughs> There's a connector in there. There we go, the power of lithium. We're gonna have to build a battery. <laughs>